Right now it's 947. We typically associate Valentine's Day with hearts and flowers and sentimental cards. But for our friends over at Stem Nola, it brought to mind blood. Red blood, that is. We're joined by Justice Baston. He is a seventh grader at Plessy Community School and STEM NOLA staffer Lee Lenore. First off, guys, why the experiment of blood and why is it inspired for Valentine's Day? Well, of course, it's STEM NOLA. You know, we're going to think about anything that's got to do with STEM, which is engineering and science, and we think about the heart. And so we think about circulatory system and blood. And so we're going to show you how to make blood in a bottle today. All right, so, so let's get right started now. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to need first is red candy, and that's your red blood cells, lima beans, that's your white blood cells, sprinkles, that's your platelets, and halfway filled, a plastic bottle halfway filled with corn syrup, and that's your plasma, Okay. and red food coloring, of course, because your blood's red. Your blood's red, So right. first what we're going to do, first what we're going to do is take our red food coloring, pour one or two drops of red food coloring into our corn syrup mixture. Close that up. Then what we are going to do is take some red candy, put that okay. in there. Then we're going to take a few lima beans, put them in too. And same thing with sprinkles, just put them in there. Okay. And I, I asked Justice if he wanted to try it. He said no, he, he wasn't very interested in eating it, even though right. it had some different candies in it, but I don't think it would taste very good either. No. I was going to say, yeah, can you eat it yeah. after? But uh, it looks like it's... Uh, well, I mean, I'm sure you could. Yeah. But that wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> All right, no, so uh, Justice... Go ahead. And then we're going to just shake this. And there you go. And so our uh, red blood cells are the cells that carry the oxygen all around the body. Um, the white blood cells are the ones that fight infection. Of course, we've talked about that a lot lately. Right. Um, our platelets are the ones that help our blood clot. And then the plasma is the part of the blood that carries all the nutrients that we need to every part of your body. And now you have all of that in one place in your blood in a bottle. So on this Valentine's Day, we're learning more about blood. And as you mentioned, STEM NOLA, always educating. And, uh, you know, it looks like a fun project to do. Where can people go to get, uh, you know, the ingredients and kind of learn how to do this? I think you guys have a really big YouTube channel, right? We do. Go ahead. So um, if you want to see any more cool experiments and how to do them like this, you can go to YouTube.com and okay. search bar, search up STEM NOLA. And you can find cool instructions and cool ways to make experiments like this. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, Justice, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do? Well, um, I, I would prefer a lot of professions, but I think one of my top ones, besides science, is being a museum curator. Awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. And at the museum, you could probably teach people how to do all these things and learn about the body and learn about all different things. So that's uh, that's awesome. You guys get, did a yep. great job. Go to the YouTube channel. Go check it out. STEM NOLA does a great job. You all have a great weekend. And uh, again, we appreciate it. And we're going to see you soon, I'm sure.